Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at electric fields and electric field patterns. So let's get started. Now, this should be revision from both the National 5 and the higher physics courses. And it says that electric fields have a lot in common with gravitational fields. One major difference, however, is that whilst gravitational fields are always attractive, electric fields can be attractive or repulsive. And what do we actually mean by an electric field? Well, here's its definition. It says that an electric field is the region that surrounds electrically charged particles in which a force is exerted on other electrically charged particles. And we saw in both Nat 5 and higher that a charge existing on its own will have its own electric field. However, a charged object cannot experience its own electric field. It can only experience the electric field due to another charge near it. In Nat 5 and higher level, you saw the electric field patterns for single point charges between two point charges and between two oppositely charged parallel plates, as shown below. So here for a positive point charge, we've got the electric field lines going out the way in a circular pattern called a radial field. We've also got for the negative point charge, the field lines going in the way this time. We then have for two oppositely charged parallel plates, if this is the positive plate on the top and the negative plate on the bottom, the field line should go from the positive to the negative in a uniform field. So these two are radial fields with circular patterns, whereas this one is a uniform field. Next we have a positive and negative point charge near each other, where in between the positive and negative charge you can see the field lines are attractive, so we've got this straight line directly in the middle, and then they start curving round to the sides. And on the other side of the positive charge and the other side of the negative charge, the lines look roughly like they do for these ones, for the single point charges, but they're curved a bit. So here we've got this straight line and then they start curving out of the positive charge, whereas over here we've got the lines going into the negative charge, and again they're curved. And lastly we've got these two positive point charges placed near each other, and in the middle you'll see there's this empty region where there are no field lines, and this is because the field lines will actually cancel each other out. So you'll notice that the lines here have nowhere to go other than up the way, and the lines down here have nowhere to go other than down the way, and they create this almost diamond shape with the electric field lines in the middle. Then round the side you'll see that the field lines have a similar shape to the single positive point charge, where the lines come out but they start curving a bit due to this repulsion. And the same happens on the other side. Lastly it says to think what would the electric field pattern look like for two negative charges? Well you should be thinking here that if it's two negative point charges it will look very similar to the case for two positive point charges here, however what we would have instead is the field lines going in towards the charges but we would still have this shape in the middle where there are no field lines. And here are some rules that you need to remember when drawing electric field lines. The spacing between the field lines indicates the relative strength of the electric field, i.e. if the lines are closer together, the electric field is stronger. So if we look back at some of our patterns, for example, nearest the charge is where the field lines are closest, so the electric field will be strongest at that point, whereas if you get further and further away from the charge, the electric field will decrease. However, for the two oppositely charged parallel plates, notice how the field lines have the same spacing between them, which means that we have a uniform field, so the field is the same strength at all points. Next it says that field lines are continuous, they begin on positive charges and end on negative charges, and they cannot cross, so you should never draw field lines crossing over. Next it says that field lines are always drawn in the direction that a positive charge would move if placed in that field. That is, they always go out of positive charges and into negative charges. And lastly, if lines are parallel and equally spaced, the field is said to be uniform, as in the case for the two charged parallel plates. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching, if you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video one of these, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.